Our high efficiency hydraulic power system is what delivers the massive torque and downforce necessary to punch through your hardest hangups. Now when you're working with serious power, we need to take some serious safety precautions. So before connecting or disconnecting any hoses, always make sure that the power unit is off and that the control valves are in the neutral position. There are two sets of hydraulic hoses that control the bend drill's two main actions. These include the rotation of the drill assembly and the up-down motion of the drill deck. When connected, the control circuits created by these hose sets deliver fluid power from the control valve block, allowing full control of the system from one handy manifold. The color-coded hose sets and quick disconnect fittings allow you to quickly make these connections. You can refer to the technical manual for more detailed instructions and diagrams, including on how to make the final connection between the control valve block and the hydraulic power unit with the remaining three hose set. The recommended hookup orientations are shown here, but depending upon your situation and preferences, you can easily switch those connections to reverse the action of the controls. With our hydraulic connections complete and our valves closed, let's fire up the power unit and take a closer look at the two valve blocks that make up our manifold. A full understanding of how these controls work is critical to safe and effective bend drill operation. The movement of the drill deck along the ball screw is controlled by the valve block labeled drill deck up down. When the lever is moved from the center position, the drill deck moves up or down, raising or lowering the drill assembly inside the bend. The further the lever is moved, the more force is applied and the faster the drill deck will travel. The clockwise and counterclockwise rotation of the drill assembly is controlled by the valve block labeled drill direction speed control. This is a detented directional valve, meaning it will remain in the position it is placed until manually returned to the neutral middle position. This block also includes a flow control knob. When the hydraulic hoses are hooked up in the standard way, turning this knob clockwise all the way in slows and ultimately stops the clockwise rotation of the drill, while opening it counterclockwise speeds up the rotation. To control the rate of rotation in the counterclockwise direction, you can switch hoses to reverse the drill direction circuit.